Hello everybody, Trucker John here. And on today's episode of Cooking with Trucker John, I'm going to do this recipe that was recommended by Chris C. And he said if you are a fan of a barbecue chicken, Slow Cooker makes an amazing barbecue chicken. I just put the chicken and the barbecue in for about four to six hours along with some liquid smoke for a nice smoky flavor. Alright, so pretty simple and basic. Three ingredients. Got my uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast that I pick up at a Walmart for about uh, five dollars, four ninety-nine, three pounds, and I got this liquid smoke. It was a dollar ninety-seven, and I got this ninety-nine cent barbecue sauce, all from Walmart. So for less than nine dollars, including tax, let's see what we can do with all this. All right, so I want to make sure I get um, a nice even coat of uh, the smoke flavor so I'm going to layer the chicken um, a little bit at a time and I don't want to add too much you don't want to add too much smoke because this is very strong it only takes a little bit but I also want to make sure all the chicken has some smoke flavor on it and uh, you'll see I have a glove on because I am handling raw chicken just want to be extra cautious especially being on the truck you know can easily uh, get salmonella poison so we really want to be careful We're dealing with raw chicken that's why I have my gloves it's being extra cautious so again this is only three and a half pounds of chicken so it's not a lot it's gonna make basically just a uh, two two quick layers in here all right so my hands are sanitized now we're just gonna add a little bit more smoke just enough to get a just gonna get the flavor on the chicken itself. Oop, that might have been a little too much. <laughs> Sorry, right. I like smoky flavor. All right, now we're just gonna add our entire bottle of barbecue sauce just to the top, and it'll work its way down to the bottom of the chicken. Just gonna put the whole bottle. I've not added any water. Chris C. did not give me instructions on exactly what to do here, so I did um, look up a recipe, and there were some recipes that called for water, there were some recipes that did not call for water. Uh, this is going to end up being like a pulled pork or a pulled barbecue chicken sandwich type deal, so I figure no water would be best. I don't want it to be soupy. I don't want too much liquid. There's going to be some liquid from the chicken afterwards, but... Um, I have an idea on how to deal with that, so we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, so I got the chicken in the crock pot. I have my little setup going on. If you've seen any of my other videos, I have this uh, bungee cord wrapped around the lid, and I attached it to one of the weights that I use for when I work out, so that way uh, that lid doesn't bounce off while I'm driving. I have it set for high. I'm gonna cook it for eight hours. I'm gonna set my timer on my phone. So let's get down the road and try it out tonight.
thing. Definitely smell that barbecue sauce. Oh man, that smells great. Still a little soupy, uh, but like I said, I have an idea for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave all, I'm gonna take out all but one piece of chicken. Oh yeah, it's definitely cooked, it's nice and tender. So I'm just gonna take it all out. It's falling apart already, which is exactly what I, what I like. So I'm gonna take out everything. I'm going to leave one in, because uh, I'm gonna leave one whole one for my, uh, I'll leave that one right there. I'm gonna eat that with, my, with some rice. The other ones I'm gonna shred for sandwiches. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this, it smells so good. All right, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave, I'll leave those two in there for my, for my rice and I'll shred this. We're just gonna go ahead and shred this into pieces here. It's kind of a small container, but I think it can make it all fit. Oh yeah, look at that, it's spreading right, right apart. Oh, it smells great. My, my main concern is going to be um, if I put too much smoke. I don't want it to have that too strong of a smoke flavor. So that's one thing I'm kind of concerned about, so. Let's see how it turns out. But I like how it just shreds right apart. Yeah, I might need to get a bigger container because this is definitely uh, my overflow. But look at that, shredding right apart, no problem at all. So I would say seven to eight hours on high was definitely um, a correct number. It's nice and juicy. It's thoroughly cooked. Um, my next concern would be that it might be. Uh, and not, not enough flavor inside the chicken. So what I'm going to do, since there's enough juice left inside the crock pot, I'm going, once this is all shredded to my liking, I'm going to add it back to the crock pot with all the juice. That way the juice can marinate a little bit more with all this shredded chicken. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. So I have um, two small pieces of full uh, breast in there and I have the shredded. So what I'm gonna do is just add the shredded chicken right back into the juice, just like that. And I'm gonna let the juice kind of just marinate with the shredded chicken. Uh, I have not turned it off, it's still on high. So I think I'm just gonna let it cook in here just like this for like another uh, 15 to 20 minutes let the juice thicken up a little and absorb into this chicken and then we'll come back and see how it looks all right it's been 20 minutes let's take a look at this it's been cooking on high for 20 minutes so this is gonna be all the shredded look at that see how the juice like absorbed into the shredded chicken so it doesn't look dry anymore it looks like there's more uh, gonna be more flavor inside the actual chicken I had to be careful not to uh, stab my uh, my two breasts I have down there in the bottom because I want to put those over a bit of rice. All right, so I wasn't able to save the second piece of chicken, so I only got one piece. The other one just kind of got uh, shredded as I was trying to pick up all the shredded chicken. So let's try not to break this piece of chicken as we. It's so tender, it's just falling apart. So I'm trying to be really careful. just like that take a spoon get some uh, get some of the barbecue juice and I'll just do something uh, fancy on the side just like that like you'd see at a restaurant there you go all right and there we have Chrissy's barbecue chicken this is a uh, smoked barbecue chicken Man, I can't wait to try it. It looks so good. Alright, let's try this thing out. It smells amazing. I can't wait to try it. There we go. Super tender. Juicy. It's got a little bit of rice on there. There we go. You know, I was really worried about 
about that smoke because I put a lot. You know, I wanted to have the smoke flavor and I wasn't sure how much to put. I've never used liquid smoke before. Uh, but yeah, it's not overpowering at all. Barbecue sauce for being a, a dollar barbecue sauce at Walmart. Man, this whole meal, just this meal alone, what would this cost you at a restaurant? And maybe you'd have a little bit more chicken. I, I lost the other piece of chicken with the shredded chicken, but uh, just imagine there's another piece of chicken there with all this rice. And... You probably spent at least $8 on one meal like this, at least. And it cost me less than $9 to make not only this, but I have enough chicken to make several sandwiches for the next few days. This is a uh, pulled, pulled pork chicken, man. It's hot. Hot plate. There you go. You can see that? Shredded. Uh, you can't even see the white meat no more because of all the juice. So I definitely recommend putting it back into the crock pot. It's just me in here. I'm not sharing. See, man, what a great recipe. And who would have thought that that smoke flavor would really set it off like that? Yeah, the liquid smoke, definitely a, a big hit there. Uh, if you know of a, a thicker barbecue sauce or a sweeter or spicier barbecue sauce, whatever you prefer, stick that in there instead. Like I said, I got the 99 cent, the cheapest barbecue sauce they had, and it's just fine. No problem at all. I'm gonna have a good dinner tonight, guys. This is really, really good. So, uh, hey, thanks for stopping by, guys. I wish you could, uh, you could be here to help me eat this because it is so good and yummy and tender. Did you like I did that little fancy thing with the spoon? Trying to eat, trying to eat fancy on the truck with my, my pinky up. Thank you for participating.